Hi everyone, this is Linda from Teardrop Journeys. Today we have a special video for you. We thought it might help some people that have the same problem as us. Gaffrey is going to show you how to recharge a dead battery pack on your 2009 Hybrid Escape. I hope you enjoy it. Hi everyone, my name is Gottfried and this video is about a 2009 Ford Escape Hybrid with a no start, no crank condition. The car will not start after it was sitting in the garage for a couple of weeks, actually months, and it was not connected to a battery charger. So what happened is that the main battery or the HV battery went into a um, deep voltage condition or a deep discharge. So it has about 300 volts right now. It should have, have uh, 350 volts to start the engine. Without that, it's not possible to start the engine. Until the model year 2008, there was a possibility to charge the battery, give it a boost, um, and charge the HV battery with the smaller auxiliary battery in front of the, um, uh, or in, in the engine compartment. This went away starting with the 2009 model. So I'm going to show you how you can charge the battery and bring it out of that uh, state that it will not charge your, your uh, that it will not start your engine. Okay, so here's what you're gonna find in your car if you have that condition. When you turn the ignition on, it will say stop safely now in the display. It shows the little service wrench and it shows the triangle of death. If you try to start it, nothing is happening. The vehicle will not start. If you have that condition in the vehicle, it's a good idea to do a quick fault code readout and see if there's anything else that might hinder the vehicle from starting. I recommend to use Forescan. You can download it from free. Uh, just do a, a quick search on the internet. When you do the fault code readout, you will find that there is a battery control module fault code and it will tell you that the hybrid battery pack state of charge low. That's the PA7D60. Now it's a good idea to also check your battery that's in the engine compartment. Again, this battery is not there to start the engine. It's just for the control units to get everything in the state that the battery can be uh, that the engine can be started from the HV battery. So please disconnect the, the terminals before you do that, and then just hook up a normal voltmeter and see what the voltage is. In this case, we have um, 12.5, a little bit over 12.5 volts. is not 100% where it should be, but it's good enough to run the control units. So we definitely want to hang the battery um, on a charger later on. When all of those tests are being completed and you're very sure that the battery is in a low state of charge, then it's time to get to the HV battery. I'm not a professional and I'm not a qualified technician to tell you anything about high voltage and how to handle it, so you have to figure that out by yourself. And you have to make sure that you work safely and you're not hurting yourself. High voltage can be dangerous, can lead to injuries and even death. There are enough videos on the internet, on YouTube, where you can find out how to remove the battery from the vehicle and how to open it safely. I will not do this, so I, we will jump right away to the stage where we are attaching the charger to the battery. I will post the link to those videos in the comment section below. This is day two of the 2009 Ford Escape Hybrid battery recharge project. So in order to get to the battery, you have to remove the lid of the battery. A couple of screws outside. Again, there are some videos out there that explain it very detailed how to get the lid off and get the battery out of the car. And in this regard, you need at least two people. My wife Linda was helping me yesterday getting the battery out. This is a heavy sucker. It's about 200 pounds or translated in metric heavy. This is the safety switch. The safety switch has to be removed in order to get the lid off. Don't reinstall 
the safety switch because it connects the two parts of the battery, the upper and lower part, which then gives a 300 volt plus charge on the leads. In order to get to the battery leads, you have to remove the BCM first. I have done that already. Next is to loosen up the screws for the relay and then push out the relay in this direction so the prongs are disconnecting from the leads. These are the two leads that we have to um, get to in order to charge the battery. So you can see that there's a top part of the battery and the bottom part. Both parts together get you to 300 to 350 volts. A single pack is about 150 to 175, 180 volts. Let's do a quick measurement of the top part because I cannot reach the lower part. The top part of the battery, the plus side is on this side, the minus side is on this side. And you can see that we have a 148 of volts. With the charger attached to the leads, again, the plus side is on the bottom, the minus side is on the top. We should have no voltage right now because the safety switch is not installed. So quick check. No voltage. The next step is to install the safety switch. By turning it on, we should have now voltage on those two leads that we just tested. Let's test them again. And as you can see, we have 288 volts. These are both packs connected. Okay, after about six hours of charging, we have reached 350 volts here. And that means we're going to disconnect the charger and reassemble everything and then put the battery back into the escape. Before we start reassembling everything, we of course going to remove the safety switch again in order to disconnect the battery packs from each other. So that's the moment of truth. The battery is back in the car. We're ready to start it up. All the error messages are gone from the instrument cluster. Uh, the chief engineering dog next to me approves the start of the engine, right Brandy? Okay, then let's try it. Thank you for watching. If you know someone who has a similar problem with a 2009 Ford Escape Hybrid, please feel free to share this video. If you have questions, please put them in the comment section below. Thanks again and see you next time. Bye bye.